Our neighborhood schools are crumbling, full of rodents and asbestos, yet there have been no facility needs assessments since 2014, and, it, and the authors of this plan apparently don't even know the condition of schools across the district. Some wards had over 60% of facility needs met, including Ward 47, where the mayor lives, while the majority had fewer than 10%. Parents were surprised to hear about turf fields, annexes, and new buildings when they've been told there is no money for basic repairs, such as fixing plumbing or heat. Over the decades, black and brown children in Washington neighborhood schools were closed and their community deteriorate to the point where the drinking water wasn't safe anymore. These budgets are political budgets. These budgets of Chicago um, are dictated by a political culture that's toxic. A political culture that has been cultivated um, throughout the 50 years that Eddie Burke has been head of the Finance Committee. You know, that has empowered racist organizations like the HDO to give benefits to some and not to others. CPS should not move forward with this capital plan until it complies with state law and completes a comprehensive and democratically developed educational facilities plan, master plan. If equity, transparency, and process matter to you, and if you care about remedying disparities, then you will delay the vote on the capital budget. 